Hey guys, uh, so, <clears throat> and girls, and whatever you call yourself. Um, so, I'm going to talk about my 226s, another gun that's near and dear to my heart. Um, I had many of these over the years, and for some reason, I've it's one of those guns I've had and then traded for some stupid other gun that I probably traded again and whatever. Uh, but, I've got a few of them again and I want to talk about them uh, mainly talking about what I like about them and what I don't like about them and the differences between some of them um, so <clears throat> real quick clear clear <clears throat> clear and this one's in pieces so yeah um, so real quick uh, got several iterations of them most of them are west german marked uh this is the oldest one we have here this is a tyson's corner one um what was the date code on this one date code jf so 80 uh six i want to say 85 yeah um i think it's 85 <clears throat> one more it's so it's an early earlier import um you can tell by the slide cuts in the top of the top corner of the slide they had an extra angle in them versus a later model it was typically uh at uh sig arms in herndon virginia they didn't have that it's kind of just smoothed over I imagine because this is easier than making that extra slide cut for mass production because when these earlier ones were produced, they didn't produce or import a whole lot of them in the country at the time. And about the time that the SEALs adopted these and the um, FBI was using them and a lot of other places where you started using them, they started ramping up production. So I imagine this was just... Uh, cost saving measure i actually like the look of these better but that's beside the point um this is not a, this is another one so uh herman virginia gun so this one's an 88 uh 85 88 and 89 uh model i bought this one it's hard chromed uh near this, this chrome is what I could tell it uh, however I bought it off a gun broker and it, the finish on the frame is just shot and I'm afraid that you know like the slide rails aren't at that bad um, I wasn't too concerned about the beaver tail or the frame as far as wear but the uh, uh, that the reason why this thing's in pieces is when I bought it years ago, went to the range to test it out. Um, I got it for a pretty good price on Gun Broker, but the problem was is this gun would every few rounds it would take three or four hammer strikes to ignite a round. So either the re recoil or the hammer springs shot in it. But what I also noticed was these folded slide models you see here like all three of these the they're more attractive and they hand they're they're they feel way better balanced than the uh later american and well i guess all of them the uh cnc slides um these are just heavier they're heavier they're more durable for sure uh but they just they don't feel as well in my in the hand and um, I mean, that's kind of beside the point, but the downside of this slide to me and many people is that they have this breech block insert, um, and it's held in by this roll pin that goes right there. And if you don't replace those roll pins that, on a regular basis, the, uh, what ends up happening is this will start to move like this. And and it, well, it's not that bad, but mine, this one was doing that. So it, 
I'm not sure if the hammer spring was shot on it or if the, uh, it just needed to be have the breech block rebuilt. Um, and I just honestly, this one uh, I had other ones, so I went. I just it kind of fell to the wayside. Um, my newer one, I've had a few of these stainless slide ones. Um, this one has actually got a German frame, but it's it's a tank. Um, it's not as good looking, and it doesn't balance as well in the hand. But uh, yeah, it's a it's a shooter. Um, some of the things this I haven't done anything to these two, the two German ones, but uh, I did stipple the uh, grip on this this one and put some grip tape on the front as you can see it's wearing because I've shot the crap out of this gun um, it shot IDPA with it and whatnot uh, I did put a double adjust it's a double adjustable it's adjustable for uh, it's a gray guns flat trigger that's adjustable for pre-travel and roof travel because um, one of the downsides to the SIGs is with the original triggers is the over travel and the reset so if you take the reset on this it's you know it's pretty long and again i don't believe in riding reset but i have even noticed i've caught myself short stroking sigs before um i think that's the gun the, trig the triggers work but it's just one of those things. Um, a short reset trigger would fix that for sure. Or, you know, whatever. The, there's a guy named the SIG Armor in Texas. And, the, of course, Grey Guns, they can fix all of that. You know, you, you've got drop-in parts you can do. <clears throat> but I stippled this grip. I also relieved a little notch there to kind of keep my thumb. Trying to keep my thumb off of the slide release. And I also shorten the slide release on this one because one of the things I do with SIGs from shooting because I shot Berettas in 1911 so much and I do it with Glocks too is uh, I tend to ride the slide release on this gun and uh, so a lot of times when I I'll get a I won't feel the slide lock I'll get a click no bang when I you know and I initiate a reload and then rack it and it put it back into action um, one of the primary reasons why I don't normally carry a 19 uh, sig on a regular basis is just because of that it's not a terrible big terribly big deal but uh just something tickets that i have to consider for me because i do have long fingers and most guns other than like the beretta and the 1911 i end up riding the slide release on um this one for example i haven't even shot it that much i've only had it probably a year or so i picked it up for like 400 bucks at, at, a, at the local gun store one of them they had it sitting there no box no nothing just one mag and i couldn't resist um this one one of my favorite gun stores he had it and i saw it was a earlier uh slide cut so i, I wanted to grab it as a collector it's got quite a bit more slop in it than the um than this one but it still shoots fine um one of the things i check when i check these guns now because of this chrome one is i'll check the breech block for movement and this one's fine. Um, the uh, <clears throat> the slide the frame fit not terribly important. You just oil it and go. Sigs are known for damn near running forever. You do have to replace some things. You know, I mean, any gun you need to replace springs on, uh, but sometimes you have to replace the uh, takedown lever because it's part of the. I guess I should have shown that. Um, it's part of what holds the, the locking block in on the, uh, and, and the, um, the feed ramp. So, cause that 
this piece comes out when you you go to fully disassemble the gun and that takedown lever is basically like a it takes a lot of that uh, impact in its against its you know if the pins going this way it's taken impact like this all the time from the locking block and the frame itself so these aren't the only guns that do that but they're just known for it um, Met not as bad in nine millimeter, but you know, like in the two twenties and the forty five and the ten millimeter, uh, they're they're known for it. Of course, I have a ten millimeter two twenty as well as, as a hunting gun. Don't put a lot of rounds through it because you know it's just that's its purpose. But uh, anyway, um, I do. I think that honestly, to me, these original German grips are the best. Uh, they just, to me, they feel the best in the hand. They have, they seem to be a little bit more narrow on the back strap area, so they it just points really well. Um, the sights on these, these original combat sights that have the white on the bottom and the the, the white dot on uh, the front sight, kind of like a hiney. Um, they're just naturally pointing guns that, that your eye draws right to those sights. And they're they're really fast. Um, this one, like I said, I've carried this gun before, uh, shot competition with it, um, and it's another one of those guns that I don't I don't carry it very often. Um, but it, I wouldn't hesitate to. I mean, like I wouldn't hesitate with any of the these three to, you know, if you told me I had to grab one gun and go, if I had to grab one of these, I would not feel upset about it at, is all, at all um yes these magazines are loaded but um they're sig and beretta and cz and they all pretty much have the high power profile magazine which sig also has a metcar their metcar makes a sig version just like the beretta that i talked about in a previous video and they the same thing they they tend to reload faster. The, the SIG seems to have a little bit of a catch to it for me. Uh, but, um, again, not really a big concern there. Uh, anyway, uh, just a quick video on SIGs. I will probably do another one real quick comparing SIGs to Berettas because... I find myself arguing, I, I argue with myself many, all the time about which gun's better and uh, just kind of go over the differences between the two and why I choose one or the other or whatever. So anyway, I'll be right back with the Sagan Beretta video.